At the announcement, Minister of Education, Arts and Culture, Anangi Pondoka, says the new act does not only address basic education, but also adult education and lifelong learning. The principles of the new education act are to promote and regulate free and compulsory basic education, to ensure inclusive quality education and lifelong learning, to promote and protect the rights of learners to education, and to provide for the establishment, accreditation, registration, governance, and management of state and private schools, as well as hostels. It aspires to create a totally integrated, unified, flexible, and high quality education and training system for the year 2030, preparing Namibian learners for a rapidly changing global environment. It also mandates the abolition of non-voluntary parental contributions and legal provisions for exemption from such contributions. According to the new act, the age of compulsory attendance in school has shifted from 16 to 18 years, specifically addressing the right of learners to transfer under certain circumstances. There is a section dedicated to ensuring that learners with special educational needs and difficulties are accommodated within basic education systems. The Act strongly emphasizes the prevention and management of learner pregnancy and a safe and healthy school environment, including school health services and outlining minimum standards for <coughs> schools and hostels. In addition, the Act places a strong focus on improved management and quality assurance in schools by providing support for underperforming schools. The entire Act is operationalized with the exemption of Section 14, which deals with integrated early childhood development, which the ministry will pronounce itself in due course. The ministry is expected to embark on an advocacy campaign regarding the new act countrywide next year.